Welcome to Dennis Tech Tips. In this video, I am going to show you how to take screenshots on both Windows 10 and 11. There are multiple ways to take screenshots in Windows. You can take a screenshot with the apps that comes with the system, or you can use a third party application that you will have to download into the system. But in this video, we are going to focus on the apps that comes pre installed with Windows. The first one on my list is the Snip and Sketch app. This tool is only available in Windows 10 and 11. To launch the tool, head over to your search and then search for Snip and Sketch. And you will find the Snip and Sketch app as the best match. Click on this to launch. When you launch the Snip and Sketch app, you are going to see an interface like this. Here you see a keyboard shortcut that you can use to launch the Snip and Sketch app, which is the Windows key plus the Shift key and then the Print Screen key on your keyboard. At the top, you have the new button. And this little arrow button is where you can set a delay for your capture. You can set your delay to snip in 3 seconds or in 10 seconds. Or you can set it to snip instantly by selecting the snip now option. When you click on the new button, you will get this little window. And right here, you can choose whatever mode you want to take your screenshots. You can take a rectangular snip, a freeform snip, a window snip and a full screen snip. With the rectangular snip, you can click and draw a rectangle on any part of the screen you want to capture and it will be captured immediately, depending on your delay time. The freeform snip is more like a freehand tool. With this, you can trim out parts of the screen you want to capture. The window snip captures open windows. Let's say I want to capture my Fire Explorer. I can simply select the window snip and then click on the Fire Explorer window. And lastly, the full screen snip captures the entire screen. After taking your screenshot, it should be open in the Snip and Sketch editor. Right here, you can do a few editing on the screenshots. You can annotate the screenshots. You have different tools up here. You have the ballpoint pen tool. You have the pencil tool. You have the highlighter. And when you right click on any of these tools, you will get a color palette where you can choose any color of your choice and you can also increase and decrease the size of your pen. You have the eraser tool that you can use to erase your annotation or you can undo it by hitting on the undo button right here and to redo you can use the redo button next to it. When you hover your mouse over the buttons, you will see the associated keyboard shortcuts that you can use to initiate the commands. That is the Ctrl Z key to undo and the Ctrl Y key to redo. Next, you have the ruler, which you can use to draw a perfectly straight line on your screenshot. You can rotate the ruler by using the scroll wheel on your mouse or place and drag two fingers on your trackpad. When you right click on the ruler button, you get a drop down menu and right here you see a protractor that you can use to draw a perfect circle on your screenshots. Next you have the crop tool to crop your screenshots. You have the zoom tool to zoom in and out. When you are done and you want to save the screenshots, you can click on the save button and we get the save as dialog. Right here, you can choose the location where you want the file to be saved. I'm going to select my desktop. Give it a file name and select the file format. You have PNG, JPEG and GIF. Select the one you want and click on save. You can copy the image by clicking on this copy button right here. You can share the image. When you click on these three dots, you have a few more actions that you can initiate. You can open a file. You can open the image with or on another app. You can send it to print. And you can open settings. That is how to use the Snip and Sketch app to take screenshots. Another tool I would like to bring to your attention is the Xbox Game Bar. When you open the Xbox Game Bar, within the capture widget, the first button allows you to take a screenshot. After taking the screenshots, when you click on this See My Captures button, you'll find your screenshots. 
not only can you take a screenshot with this app, you can also record your screen. To learn more about Xbox Game Bar, I have a video on this channel that will show you how to use Xbox Game Bar. The link to the video is in the description of this video. Or you can click on it up here. If you don't want to use any of these apps, you can also take a screenshot on your PC by pressing the keyboard shortcut on your keyboard without opening or using any app or software. The keyboard shortcut is the Windows key plus the print screen key on your keyboard. Immediately you press the command, your screen will be captured and you will find your capture in the screenshots folder of your picture folder in your Fire Explorer. So that's how to take a screenshot in Windows 10 or 11. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like. To see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.